Production. Yo, it's your boy, Prez, back with a continued series of PJ Strawberry. Um, we're back at it. Back at an EYBL session four in Atlanta. We're playing at Lake Point facility in Emerson, Georgia. Let's get to the action. First possession of the game, PJ has the ball, received the pass. Shot face and driving threw up some craziness, but Hunnecker is there and finishes with a put back layup. 2 0, Team Griffin is up. Ray Ray. Ray Ray with the step back. Okay. Hun oh! Okay, Hunnecker get the offensive rebound. Put back. We playing against the Knight Riders out of Florida. They are eight and four. They actually lead our division uh, at eight and four. PJ turns the ball over. Knight Riders come down. Four two. PJ receives the pass. Drive to the basket. Misses again. Starting out slow this game. 0 for two. Turnover. Just gave up a straight line drive. This guy missed it, but Barry Dunn and got the rebound. 4-4, PJ has the ball, swings it over to Ray Ray. Ray Ray swings it to Dante. Bang. When I say those three, it's a chance those three might, a really good chance those three might go to the same high school. PJ gets rolls again, so look at this. PJ, PJ gaze up four points, right? Give up four. Over two from the field and a turnover. Play gets fouled, go to the free throw line, hits his first one. You know, PJ say, look, I have to find a way to push our record to at the minimum 99 if we're going to have a chance to make PJ jam. Because I don't think we're going to get no at-large bid because we don't really have no top, top players. PJ now is becoming a three-star, uh, has a chance to become a four by the end of the summer. 9-16 Griffin, forces a turnover, PJ get the ball, drive down the lane, Finishes with a tough finish. Guy draped all over him. Wish we could have got the and one there, but hey, we'll take it. 11 to 6. Team Griffin is up on Knight Riders. There go Gortman, one of the top point guards in the country, before he decided to go play with overtime elite. But still, one of the top players and top point guards in the country. PJ fouls the guy driving the basket. 11 to 10, PJ gets subs out. But Team Griffin leads after the first quarter, 22 to 14. It's looking real promising for PJ and Team Griffin right now as they lead the top team in the division. 24 to 14, Donaldson, um, this guy is going to, I think Auburn to play football and basketball. Really good player, really good athlete. Um, he came in, came into the game, actually gave Knight Riders a spark. Came off the bench, but he doing the staying right now. 24 to 19, Team Griffin is only up five, and they go Donaldson again. Donaldson again, 24-22, Knight Riders on an 8-0 run, but PJ has the ball, he drives, can't get to the basket, throw it to Hunnecker, and finishes. 26-22, Team Griffin, nice pass by Hunnecker, and, and not Hunnecker, but PJ, but Hunnecker sealed his guy to get an easy layup there. Now you can see the athleticism of the Knight Riders as they are all over this glass. All over this glass. PJ fouls again, gets subbed out, but they are up 33 to 30 at halftime against Knight Riders. Like I said, this would be a big pivotal win to start this weekend as PJ them is six and six, clinging on to fourth place in the division. And the Knight Riders are 8-4, who are number one in the division. But Ray Ray starts to have missed the three. Knight Riders get it, pushes it. PJ get the steal, and okay. That boy might have, you know, he might have cramped up or something right there. But I don't know. I thought PJ was going to punch that one. 33, well, 35 to 30. Gorman loses PJ on that play right there. 35-32, PJ gambles. Knight Riders come down, corner three, 35-35. Them boys that came back and tied the game over. PJ has the ball, 640 to go in the third. Gets his shot blocked out of bounds by Dunning. When I say athlete, that boy is an athlete. I got to look up where he going to school at, but kid is pretty good, man. 
kid is very good. As you can see, another athletic big that's on the Night Riders. Uh, I can't remember that kid's name, but he's pretty good too, man. So 35-35, Team Griffin gives up another basket. As Dante tried to take a charge, it was a block and one, but they missed a free throw. PJ has the ball attacking the basket. See the little mismatch? Gets fouled by Sam Walters, who's one of the top players in the country as well. He's a either high four-star or a five-star. P.J. ties the game back up at 37 with 6.10 to go. 37-37, P.J. has the ball on the break. Get to the basket, misses. After Team Griffin gets a stop, P.J. come down, snaps back three, misses again. He's struggling this game. He is struggling. I don't know where he's where he at from the field right now, but P.J. is struggling. But that's the thing that killed us, really killed us all year, giving the offensive rebounds and turnovers. That would kill any team. Bear Dunning got the rebound, misses, get a steal, and then boom. Next thing you know, they took the lead back. But as you can see, P.J. gets subs out again, him and Dante this time. And we're down 42 to 46 going into the fourth quarter. After the promising start, had a hot hand as a group. We're now finding ourselves down four going to the fourth. Down two right now. Knight Rod has the ball. Hey! Like I said, this team is a very, very athletic team. 44-48, PJ has the ball. Throws up a prayer. I don't know how he hit that one. That should have been a foul. That should have been something. Hey, he hits the shot. 46-50, Knight Riders. Throws it down to Barry Dunning. He just, this man been killing. I think it's PJ, man. PJ began fried a lot. Straight fry season. 46-52, PJ has the ball. Wing three, green, me. Cuts the lead down to three. PJ has the ball again. What are you going to do with it? What are you going to do with it? Okay. Okay, P. Get in your bag now, P. Get in your bag, boy. Get in your bag. 51-52. PJ has the ball. Swings it over to Ray. Ran the corner. Ray Ray takes the three and miss. But Hunnecker, again, another offensive rebound put back. Team Griffin takes the lead, 53-52. And there you go. Mama, there goes that man again. Jay Zion Gortman. 15 points right now. 53 54 Team Griffin. Ray Ray with the. Hey, okay, Ray. Okay, Ray Ray. 55 54 Knight Riders. And they come right back and score right on Ray Ray. That boy Gortman, he got going. He ain't one of the top point guards in the country for nothing now. 55 56 Hunnecker gets fouled. What you guys think he gonna do? You think he gonna make both free throws? You think he gonna make one? Cause he been a clutch free throw shooter all year, but hey, he misses both. And PJ, oh my gosh, PJ. I know you ain't let that boy do you like that. And they celebrating, goodness gracious. PJ just got, this boy jumping on PJ back. Look at this, oh my goodness. 55-58, two minutes to go in the game. P.J. has the ball. Team Griffin down three. P.J. drives. Oh, my gosh. Barrett Donna is owning this matchup right now. We haven't scored in two minutes. 55-58, Jet Howard, who's going to Michigan, has the ball. Scores it easily. 60-55. to 60-55, 126 to go. P.J. has the ball. He drives, throw the lob. Gets to flat that maybe he could have got that to Hunnecker. But they, this team, like I said, the Knight Riders are very athletic. Ray Ray with the wing three. He misses it. 118 to go. Knight Riders get the defense rebound. Pushes up the floor. Waltz. Oh, my gosh. That's Malik Renewa, whatever his name is. Them boys jumping out the gym. 55-62. P.J. takes a three. Miss again. One minute to go. Now it's 30 seconds to go. Jet Howard again. I don't know what happened. We didn't score like the last three, four minutes of the game, it feel like. 55-64, Team Griffin folds and end up losing this game to the Knight Riders. When I say Gortman got going in the second half, Dunning was already killing us all game. Gortman got going second half. Howard got going second half. This team started to show off their athleticism, and that was pretty much it for this game. P.J. Strawberry and 
team Griffin now falls to six and seven. Six and seven, and we still have to play. Still got five more games to turn this thing around, but we got some tough opponents. Gortman finished with 17, Donovan finished with 14 and 10, Howard finished with 11, Donaldson was a spark player off the bench with eight. PJ finished with 15, he was five or 12 from the uh, field, but he didn't do much or nothing else. Hunnecker had, what was that, 12 points, 20 rebounds, but nobody else did anything. So make sure you like, subscribe, comment. I got more videos coming soon. Peace.